Hey guys, Stacy here. We grow again. I'm outside this morning. It's really early. The sun just popped up um, about a half hour ago. And I want to give you some tips about being out in your garden and checking for those little buggies. Look how they're destroying my plant. Now I have gloves on because I found the culprit. And this is why I come outside either really early in the morning when the sun pops up or um, at night. You know, at night you can really see things that are going on. Um, bring a flashlight, check the undersides of your leaves. Now you can see how all these are really healthy. I'm going to trail it back the other way just because I have peas growing right here. Check them out. They're doing really well. Um, I'm going to tie them up and show you guys just basically I want to take you on a tour and show you what I'm going to be fixing, how I'm fixing it, and what I'm doing. Um, the little buggers I found. Now look at this. This leaf is so sad looking. They've taken out. They took out one of my good leaves. This was not here yesterday, all this damage. This leaf was full, um, and I don't even know how they can get that hungry, honestly, because they just, you know, I found about three caterpillars on here, and that's it. So I don't know where they're coming from or what they're doing, but they're having a party at night with a bunch of their friends because they're taking out my plant. Now, what you want to look for is underneath the back sides of the leaves to check. That's where they hang out. That's where you're going to find them. Um, there's nothing under that one. I'm going to see if I can find one for you. Um, and when you come outside checking for these bugs, um, you want to bring a cup. Um, just a soapy water cup with a bunch of soap in it. This way you can pluck them off and put them in there. You don't want them to stay on your leaves. Now, of course, I'm not going to find them because the sun's been out for quite a while. And once that sun comes out for a while, it's really hard to see them. Um, you know, they do most of the damage at nighttime. There it is. Look, I found one. So there he is. There's a green one. Now, I have two. I have green and I have um, black ones. Where is he? You don't want to lose them because they will destroy your garden. He's right here on my finger. Um, and what I do is take my soap. I got my soapy water over there. Look at that little guy. I hate these things. And just dunk them in there. Rinse your finger off. Make sure he's off. And then go pluck again. Um, now you want to do this before the sun comes out in case any of the soap gets on your leaves. Um, you know, you, you're not damaging them. Um, but I want to make sure they're not on these big ones because, you know, these big leaves are so pretty and I don't want them damaging them. So you can see there's nothing under there. They're doing pretty good. Um, let me see. I don't see anything under these yet. Um, so I want to show you this one. Now I'm going to cut this off because I can almost guarantee you that there's caterpillars in here. Um, and I'm going to keep them on in there. Sorry about that. I'm trying to look what I'm doing. Um, see? There he is right there. Right where my finger is. Creeping and crawling. Um, so I can almost guarantee you this whole thing has caterpillars in it. There he is. And they're going to be green most of the time. Um, squish them and then dunk them in soap like I said. And do that. Make sure they're not on anything around your garden. Now, having a garden takes a lot of work, guys. You can see I cut a lot of this out because this died. Um, bugs got to it. So I'm going to get in here and trim all this dead stuff off. I don't want to rip this because it's a beautiful plant. Look at all these flowers going up on it. It's blooming like crazy. I want to leave it just because, um, you know, it really helps to mask the smell for my veggies. They don't know what's going on here because this thing's blooming like crazy. This is a regular size marigold, and I'm just going to trim it up really pretty, get rid of that yellow, open it up in the middle so bugs can't hide in there. If you have a really open plant, um, you know, you can see that stuff's starting to get to this. So I'm going to trim all this yellow off in the middle. You know, all this stuff's going to be gone in here, and it's going to look a lot better. Um, bugs aren't going to want to hang out in there. Um, marigolds are a really good uh, pest deter just because they smell so fragrant so keep these around in your garden um, and you know them pests won't really know what's going on just make sure you're disposing all of your leaves in a bucket of some sort I'm gonna put them in here for now and then get rid of them but I just want to take you on a little tour 
Um, I'm going to take this glove off because I don't want to infest anything else in my garden. So hang on one second. Um, and I just want to inspect everything with you because you really want to be out here. I'm out here every morning looking on the back sides of the leaves, making sure nothing's hanging out because that's where they're going to be looking at um, to hang out and just, you know, cause a nest and eat your leaves up. Um, especially aphids and everything. I don't know. Everything just goes under the leaves, it seems like. But nothing's getting to those yet. They look good. My squashy looks good. It's grown big. Look how big that got in the last few days. Squash grows so big, guys. So if you haven't grown, this is dark um, green squash, zucchini. And if you haven't grown squash yet, I encourage you to do so because it just grows so big. Um, this tomato was transplanted quite a few days ago now. I don't see anything going on in here. Um, but I do want to say, when you start seeing things like those caterpillars and stuff, um, my tomato's doing good too. I love this plant. You want to start treating with um, neem oil, or, or any kind of pesticide for that matter. I use neem just because it's a really organic, um, great preventative for your plants. And the the buggies don't like it it's so bitter to them um it's really potent but it's safe around you your pets it's safe for the environment you can see i use that preventative on here um once every week once every two weeks and you know i don't have any bugs on it so far this morning i found some leaf miners hanging on in the back here um you know i don't see any more well it looks like one's starting right there so I'm going to take this leaf off um, because I can see them. I don't know if you can see that line right there, but there's a line in here. And those are leaf miners. So I'm going to get him on my bucket away from my garden. This way I can dispose of that later. Um, I'm going to bring my pruners with me just in case I have to cut anything. My carrots look good. They're doing good. Yesterday they, did, they only had about one set of leaves on them. Now they got quite a bit. They got like three sets on them now. So they're doing good no buggies yet um these little guys let me zoom in so happy i can zoom um even though it's not that clear but look my little carrots are starting to get that true set on them they're starting to get fuzzies i love the way these carrots look <laughs> they're starting to grow really good no bugs yet which thank goodness um we have such a problem with bugs in florida this is a dwarf marigold now you can see how tiny these flowers are and tiny this plant is compared to that big, big marigold over there, the regular size. Um, that's why I like these dwarf marigolds. And I'm going to actually, I'm actually propagating some inside. I cut some of this off, like I cut maybe a branch like this and one of these branches. And I'm rooting this inside to make more plants so I can plant them throughout my garden without starting more seeds. And I want the small ones because you can see they just grow really good. They, they stay compact. They're not crazy like that one over there. That marigold is just nuts. And I've cut a lot off already. So, you know, this one's doing really well. I love it. Um, those flowers are so pretty on it. Love my new camera, guys. I'm so happy I got it so I can shoot these. Pictures are so clear. But yeah, you want to treat with neem oil. I'm sorry I forgot to tell you that. Um, neem oil is a really organic product. Um, it's good. And what you just want to treat at night. I treat when the sun goes down. Let me zoom out. Um, I treat when the sun goes down because there's no chance of that sun coming out. It says you can treat in the morning, but I don't because, you know, in a few hours that sun might pop up. Um... And check out my video. I have some videos on neem oil, and I'll post them below so you guys, it's easier for you to get to. That's just some um, sunburn on the leaves, like where a water drop was. If the, the burn looks like, you know, circular like that, a perfect circle, it's usually a water drop or something. And that's okay. Um, now this one, I just noticed this. Now I shot this plant yesterday for you with my new camera, with a tour of my garden, and look. I showed you how beautiful the colors were getting in this. Um, you know, corn gets them nice, really beautiful colors. But look what it's doing. That's a caterpillar or something. And it totally ate up my leaves. I don't even know how they're that hungry. Honestly, they're just crazy. Um, they're even starting on this one right here. So I really have to come in here and do preventative. I haven't sprayed in about a week. So that's why I'm starting to see bugs. And I wanted to show you that because, you know, it's really important to do preventative treatment once 
every 7 to 14 days. Um, and I use neem oil. It's great. It just works good to keep them away. I got some squash over here, guys. And then when you have a bat infestation, you really want to treat for the first few days. Um, you know, the first three days you can do the foliar spray. If you're seeing them on your leaves like the caterpillars or aphids, spider mites, spray the leaves and then do the soil too if it's really bad for three days. Um, keep it out of the direct sunlight. Make sure there's no chance of that sun coming out and then you'll be fine. By the time that morning dew comes, um, you know, these leaves get really wet from that morning dew. This basil looks horrible. It's recouping and it's coming back. Um, but yeah, you just want to make sure you spray at night. Uh, it says you can do it in the morning, but you know, that sun's going to come out. So that's why I spray at night. Um, I have videos on how to do both. So just check them out if you need it. This is a tomato I transplanted. It's doing good. I don't see any buggies on it yet. Just some sand. I got to build this up. This, I pulled some sod back and you can see it's really steep. So I'm going to put some soil in here, build it up. And tomatoes, this is a cherry tomato. They should really be buried up to where this bottom leaf is like right here where my fingers are um because all these little fuzzies and stuff that they grow on their stem you can see all them fuzzies up here um they're going to turn into roots and they grow all along the stem so you really want to make sure you transplant them you know all the way up to the like right here to make sure they're a good stable plant they really like to like that so um i'm going to get this up and build this out once I get some soil. Um, I found a little squash here that I planted. It, I had an extra on and he finally popped up last night because of all the rain we got. So I'm so excited. I can't wait. It's a little squash. I hope nothing gets to it. Um, nothing's getting to my coleus yet. And then I wanted to show you something got to my watermelon too. So I'm going to have to do the preventative treatment with that neem oil. And this I haven't built up yet. I just haven't gotten soil. Having a garden is so much work. So I just haven't gotten to it between starting new seeds, transplanting what I have, um, bug preventative, just everything. You know, it takes a lot of time. So sorry, I was picking weeds. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is what the caterpillar did to my plant last night. This was totally a perfect pretty leaf like this one yesterday. Um, I took this other leaf off that was growing on the other side because it kind of split down the middle from all the rain. It was like buried in the sand. I pulled it up and it split, so I cut it off. Um, I don't like any dead leaves, any weird looking leaves. So as soon as this gets a couple more sets, I'm probably going to cut this guy off. This way it can focus on growing in the middle. I'm already growing a leaf out. So that's going to be okay as long as I do preventative. I don't see anything underneath the leaves. And that's where you want to be focusing on, underneath. That's where they all like to have a party. This watermelon's doing so pretty. I love the way watermelon grows, guys. Look at that. So pretty, the stem. It's growing good. Got some nice sets of leaves on it. No buggies. Oh, there's a little hole right there. See it? Right in this leaf. You're getting to it, so I gotta treat that. I gotta make sure they're not gonna get to these guys. And this has to be built up. I've been saying this, I just weeded. Look how much I extended that out and weeded it. But the water is just coming down here and running off. So it washed out all my eggshells, everything I had in there. Um, so I really have to focus on that. I gotta get some soil this weekend. So I'm definitely, definitely doing that. <laughs> There's so much to do in a garden, guys. Just remember, I'm out here every single morning, um, really early. It's so pretty out right now. You know, it's not too hot. The sun's not even beating on this area yet. You can see it's coming up right over there. It's almost out. Um, but I'm going to come in here and tie some things up. Now, your cucumbers, you want to make like a stake for them if you're growing them vertically. I'm going to put like a stick here, make a teepee, stick here and a stick here, three sticks. Bring them up. I'm going to tie the top. This way I can trellis in that and over just like that one can. Um, this way I can raise them up a little bit just because I don't want all that yucky stuff and dirt that's in here. You can see how nasty this is. Look. And that's why, because I don't have this built up. It's getting all the sand. We have so much sand here in Florida. We don't have soil. It's sand. So it's really hard to grow. Um, you can see all the sand. It's nuts. And I put a lot of soil in here already. It's my little squash. It's doing the same thing. It's getting pulled out. So I really have to build this up. And I'm going to probably make like a little border, dig up the dirt from around it, 
push it up. This way I don't have to add much dirt in here. And I'll show you guys what it looks like after. These are my beans. They're doing really good. No buggies yet. Um, I'm not going to do anything to these and tie them yet. These are bush beans, bush blue lake. So they're already, you can see all that pretty growth in here. Um, they're going to be producing pretty soon. A few weeks. I can't wait. Um, my tomato's doing good. There's nothing on it. Happy about that. She's producing. And that's it, guys. That's all I wanted to show you. I got a tomato in here. I'm going to put probably a beef steak in there with it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but <laughs> till next time, I hope that helped you in, you know, finding them little buggies in your garden. Um, I did want to show you, I got some beets and radish here too that haven't popped yet. And then I got peppers on the fence and carrots here. And I planted some lettuce here. And I wanted to show you something I totally forgot. Um, uh, my lettuce that I planted is starting to pop in my pumpkin because I planted it over here and in the back there. So when we get that rain, even though this is hilled out, look at that. Look at my lettuce. That's crazy. That's um gourmet blend. <laughs> so it's really shaded by the, that's not lettuce, that's a weed. Um, but that's lettuce right here. So I got my lettuce popping out everywhere. It's behind it too. All these little, little lettuce things you're seeing. That's all going to pop out. Um, so it's, it's, it's producing like crazy. Um, you know, more lettuce here. And they're starting to pop. Look, they're all underneath my pumpkin now. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, there's more popping up here and here. Um, and I didn't think this was going to flood out that bad, and it did. So I really got to come in here and fix this. I'm going to trim all these, these leaves off. Let me zoom out, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to work and do this. <laughs> um, but I'm going to trim up all these and then, you know, probably up to here and then leave these. And then treat it later tonight. Um, pretty good with that neem oil and in the soil. And I'm going to do everything over here too. Till next time, I hope that helps you get the little buggers out of your garden. Um, be out there every day. It's so hard to keep a garden, guys. There's so much that goes on and so much things that you have to do with nutrients, transplanting, you know, germinating, looking for bugs, preventing, preventing blight from happening, which happens quite a bit on tomatoes. I have to cut this branch off. You can see it broke and it's dead. Um, just get rid of it because all that energy is focusing on this branch and it's no good. Um, just cut it. Don't break it like I'm doing because you can cause um, a lot of cracking and diseases that way. Till next time, I hope that helped you guys in the best way possible. I can't wait to show you this all filled in. I'm so proud of it so far. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.